In this video, I traded a brand new PS5 for a Pokemon card collection filled with Charizards. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Chase Out of the Right Price. My name is Chase. I'm a full-time Amazon and eBay reseller. I also love video games and Pokemon cards. And today, we have some epic unboxings. It's mail day, so just got this from the P.O. Box this morning. This is sealed video games, including one that is mind-blowing. And then later today, we'll be getting a massive Pokemon card collection that I am trading a PS5 for. And this Pokemon card collection might even be better than the last one I traded it for, which included a Gold Star Charizard, Base Set Charizard, among other things. It is epic. I didn't even look into it too close because I wanted to be like a kid on Christmas, so it's going to be a blast. Stay tuned for that. Where are we going, Chase? Well, it says the package was delivered, so it's actually only like an hour later. I thought it'd be like six hours later. There it is. Slow down. Slow. I know you're excited. We gotta wait for the stupid disc cleaner to stop. It's oh, stopping. I thought it stopped too. <laughs> it's stopping. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna finish eating my breakfast and then we're gonna open that. <laughs> Let's crack it open. So my hope is that I didn't over, uh, what, overhype this, but I quickly looked at pictures um, last week on Alyssa's phone, but we were like busy. So I just kind of scrolled through really fast and was like, this looks amazing. And if you want a PS5 for this collection, plus the games that were proposed, we can probably work something out. Well, looks like he may have even threw in some more stuff. There's a note. There is a note. <clears throat> Is he oh, a viewer? This is Jeff. Yeah. Okay. Viewer Jeff, shout out to you. Thank you for the deal. For the so channel. yeah, I, I can read it. He says, hey, Chase and the gang, wanted to thank you for the opportunity for the trade. I've been collecting video games and football cards since I was a kid. So as you can imagine, I have quite the collection. And he sent a picture of his video games and he does. I have tossed some extra items in the box. If it's anything you're interested in, you can just add any PS4 or PS5 games for the new console or any football cards. Any of your players are pretty much collect anything football. I have around four to five hundred four to five hundred thousand cards oh from high end to low end so not picky at all love the content you and the boys do and love the honesty you show and sharing your videos looking forward to trading with you in the future best wishes for you and your family hashtag games 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 yeah thank you jeff that's awesome so yeah he threw in some extras and just said basically you throw in some extras too if it's something that you uh that you like <laughs> I mean, that doesn't thrill me, to be perfectly honest, but hey, we'll, we'll take it. Disney Infinity. I haven't the seen the box. Says. It's in the box. It would not be new. It's missing the cover. Yes. Maybe it's unused. This is kind of interesting. So, Gamer Pack. Uh, Super Edition. I wonder what comes in that. Nintendo Game Boy Notebook. Okay, so this is like something that would be sold at like a, a Target or something. That's my guess. Maybe it's GameStop type of thing. Kind of cool. Ooh. Looks like he definitely threw in some Pokemon games. Leaf green. Uh, let's see. This this is probably a throw in here. Let's see. He mentioned that he might throw in some basketball cards uh, and maybe other cards. So I haven't seen pictures of any of any basketball cards, and that is definitely what's in here. Already, I see a slab at the bottom. Let's cover that up. So Tim Duncan, is that a rookie? Yeah, I think it is. That's super cool. Steve Nash, metal rookie, AI rookie, Kevin Garnett. Whoa, a rookie rookie? Who's that? <laughs> also Kevin Garnett. <laughs> There's a Kobe. Actually, huh. okay, so that is a rookie, but it's a kind of a unique, it's scoreboard brand. Kind of cool, still a Kobe. This is a super low-end Kobe rookie, um, but it also features Sharif Abdul-Rahim. There's a nice Kobe rookie. Wow. So that's the uh, upper deck 
uh, rookie exclusive. It looks to be in really good shape too. So that is, that's no small throw in. Same for that. Another Kobe rookie, another one. LeBron's Diary. So those are technically rookie cards, but super low end. There's a super cool Dirk with a jersey piece. Um, out of Top's Finest. I'm already seeing the top of the Paul slab Pierce. that excites me. <laughs> Chauncey, gotta love Chauncey. And then, yeah, that is a straight up BGS 9 uh, 1990 Fleer Michael Jordan. So super cool. Subgrades are on the back, so that is definitely an older BGS label right there. So you can tell he has been collecting for a while, especially if he got that graded himself. Really nice stack of cards there. Very, very excited about those. Hopefully some of those will even be gradable. All right, and then these the next few things were, th were mentioned, but not pictured. Um, so this is kind of what sealed the deal for me. Pokemon XD. And then there's a Yu-Gi-Oh game behind it. And this one is supposedly sealed. Oh, yeah. Which it, is. it definitely looks like it. And I was really excited about this one. Ooh, wow. So that's in pretty good shape, too. Because this one has the three limited edition uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And they're actually fairly sought after. I saw a couple of listings on eBay of just the cards um, for like 120 bucks. Wow. Sold. And I didn't see any comps on Yu-Gi-Oh! Falsebound Kingdom sealed for GameCube. So that is awesome. I am very excited about that. And then let's see. I think you mentioned there might be a disc only and a complete Pokemon XD. But maybe it's just a complete. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, there you go. And that looks like it might not work, but maybe after... We'll mm, test it first. It, it, hard to say, but this is definitely a complete and a disc only. A bit scratched up, but Pokemon XD. I've actually played it and beat it. Like that was a game me and Quinn had as a kid, and it's pretty fun. So if you haven't played XD or Coliseum, they are fun. They're a little bit different, <clears throat> but I definitely recommend giving them a shot. You have that Pokemon XD GameCube thing there too. Yes, the skin on the on my GameCube, which is very cool. All right, let's play a little game of real or fake. Ooh. I, <laughs> a lot of times, if the Game Boy games, if you see them on eBay and they come in like cases like this, not a good sign, because a lot of the people selling fake ones put them in cases for whatever reason. Not saying he's selling them to us. Fake, no, like but... these are just throw-ins, so. Yeah. Well, can I try and That help? is, yeah, you tell me. Talk, talk me through what you're thinking, too, okay. as you're looking at it. So, the color is one, I know that, but I also look, there it is, the little mm -hmm. number pressed into it. We got 07. Yeah, catching that a little bit. Which is a good sign, because fakes don't have that, right? You tell me. I, I don't think they do. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> Heck yeah. The color, um, the color looks good. Yeah. It's got the Nintendo... Yes, it does the have back, the Nintendo back. Which sometimes fakes will have that. Mm -hmm. I feel like with fakes, they'll be a lot less uh, used as well. Like, this has a lot of scratch marks where you actually insert it. Which could mean it's just a really played fake, but I feel like that gives that it some age to me. Yeah, yeah. I, that is, I do look for that. Is there a little bit of wear? Yeah, like there's some... So if this is a 20-year-old... I don't know how old this game is now, but... <laughs> yeah, it's... 15, 20... Jeez, it's been... It's I crazy mean, that it could be that old. I mean, even the little screw is like a little rusted, so... All right, now I'll do this Good one. Signs. Oh, Ruby. All right, I feel like this one's got to be real. There's obvious age and wear there. However... I don't see... Oh, wait, no, there it is. Okay, so over the Nintendo label, mm. I don't, like, I can barely see it. It says uh, we got 22A pushed in there. It is extremely yeah, hard to, up, but, yeah. to see, but right across, barely indented, is 22A. Nintendo back, very rusted screw. Yeah, this one's... Looks good. Obvious. Looks good. Obvious, good. I'll switch this back over to you. Well done. <laughs> I can spot fakes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, those are those are real, authentic things to look for. The right color on the cartridge. You're never gonna find a Pokemon game like this that is not green, red. You know, sometimes they'll straight up be gray. It's like okay, well that's <laughs> fake. Yeah. Um, the label, 
needs to have the right gloss, the right shine. Um, and then the stamp is the key thing Skylar was noting. You can see it on this leaf green if you catch the light right. I think mm -hmm. they've already seen it up yeah. here. Um, but every every Nintendo Authentic game will have that stamp of numbers in the label, and that's hard to uh, replicate for fakes. And then it looks like there might be more games inside of here. Oh, yeah, there you go. Pokemon Blue. That also that looks very real. Very clean. Yep. Now, is there another way to tell for Game Boy Color games? Or just Game it, Boy? it comes down to a lot of the same, the coloring, how the label looks, does it have wear? I, I, most games aren't going to be in perfect condition, and same like the stamp. The stamp is to the right of Blastoise's face. It's even harder to see. You probably won't even be able to get it. Oh, but we it's, got it just a little yeah, bit. I think it yeah. says 0-4. Is there a certain reason to the numbers or anything like that? I don't know. I, if there is a method or madness to numbers, let me know. But I, I don't think so. Uh, okay, more throw-ins. So we got Mario Sonic Olympic Games, Smash Wii U. That was no, a nice one. I just reset the Wii U. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Paper Mario. <clears throat> Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. We haven't got to the Pokemon cards yet, and that's what I was really excited about. Sorry, we're sports. teasing you. <laughs> Our we most sports. demanded and desired game to complete all the Wii bundles. And then we have... Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five binders. So are any of these binders throw-ins at all? The, no. These all are all... These are. So the original trade was these binders, <clears throat> plus the two Pokemon XDs, and the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Fossbound Kingdom sealed. So... Everything else was a throw-in, and we're going to work that out separately. Cool. I got some sleeves handy. Let's get into it. I don't know which binder or if there's a... Honestly, I think I'm going to save this one because it's smaller. Save it. Let's see the first page and then decide. How about that? <laughs> okay. Hmm. It actually doesn't give me much. There's some modern and there's some vintage. So let's go through it. Let's go through it. Delta species. Yeah, Delta species. So 2005 up to 2006. Okay, so I wouldn't say modern. That's not the right word, but not super vintage. Okay. The Entei promo. No, are these sleeves? It looks like they may just be one card on each side. Yeah, there's these ones. Sabrina Slowbro. So Dark Clarion is cool. Nothing, nothing too major yet. Okay, these are these feel a little thicker. Okay, so duplicates of the trainers okay. may be the only. We now know to look behind <laughs> every single card. Yeah, <laughs> we found that gold star Charizard behind the base set Charizard in the <laughs> last. <laughs> if you haven't seen right. that video, link right up here. There's yeah. my finger. That's the closest cop. Like, if this feels like that all over again. Yeah. But this is a completely different person. But it is a, a childhood collection. Um, once Sorry again, that this is sideways. Just tilt your head for this portion of the video. I'll do it like this. Oh, well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Septile. Hollow. That's pretty cool. 4 out of 17. Still, we're not getting into the major stuff. Okay, that's a cool Mewtwo, yeah, though. Non-hollow. Delta. Mewtwo. Yeah, Delta species. I wish that was a, like, a, the hollow version from that set. There's a hollow unknown. Cool, pretty cool slow bro. Honestly, these look this like they're more... going to be in pretty good condition. Yeah, this binder at least. Like, that's pretty clean. Oh yeah, that's not bad at all. So that's probably like a um, PSA 8 range if I had to guess. Um, the last binder I got was probably more in the 5 to 6 range on average for the last collection. Shed Ninja Hollow. So that's what you kind of look for in Pokemon cards. The first thing is... Is it vintage or not? Like, kind of like 2008 or sooner, on average, those cards are way more likely to be worth money. And then you look for the hollow, that's the first thing to check. There's other little things. Bottom right corner, black star. It's going to be hard to see, but that means it's rare. And those cards are always going to be more likely to be worth money, uh, for those that don't really know much. There's a super cool Houndoom, and that is generally a higher value card, but unfortunately this one is creased and just... Yeah. In way worse condition than like everything else so far. Is it creased or is that? Yeah, there's a, there's oh, yeah, it is. a, a I wasn't few sure creases. If it was like a little scratch in the 
But that's I one if it was in if it was in great condition. I had that card as a kid. That would be a, a pretty valuable card, but not gonna be that valuable in that condition. Nice Dragonite. Dragonite. Yep, non-hollow. Okay. Decent binder. It's what not you, the one that got me excited, that's for sure. What do you score this one? Leave it in the comments below. One through ten. How excited does that make you? There you Moving go. on. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this this is the uh, Neo um, I don't even know how to get this thing. You open it. It's like clamped down, but Okay, there we go. Whoa. It's the Japanese set. It's actually pretty common, but it is still really cool. Um, they oh, got the nice. Typhlosion, the Feraligator, and the Meganium, oh. plus all their starters. All the starters. So cool. it's the starters from, is that Gen 2? Uh, I think so. Yeah, I think it's Gen 2. And there's a sealed version of that as well. Whoa, that's cool. So that, that's cool. All right. Another one like Okay, this. so we're going to save this binder <laughs> then, because this is, this is like the OG binder, like base set era. This is a, a newer binder, and the cards are a bit newer, but we've got a really cool one right here. These are all... Meganium. There's a Charizard. This is... We've got a reverse, normal hollow, hollow. Unfortunately, cool again, one. the best card on this page is heavily damaged. Mm. Creased and stuff. But Charizard actually looks decent. This is a 2009 Charizard. Pretty cool. I like the art on it. Pretty scratched on the hollow, but it is very cool. So based Maybe. off of this, this kind of looks like newer hollows and reverses. Yeah, that's that looks like what it's mostly going to be. There's a Kabutops Delta species, so that's cool. I love that set. They got some cool hollows. Zekrom. Kind of a cool Rayquaza. Whoa, level C. Priest. Oh, because it's Cynthia's. Cynthia. Crobat. Crobat. Uh, these ditto cards, especially if they're hollow, can be decent and they're really laudable. We got a couple here. There's a Squirtle back here. Um, so those I'll throw in a lot and that those usually do pretty well. I wish that was hollow, but that's a cool Gyarados. Another one of the Entei promos. That one's in a lot better shape. Yeah, that looks one looks like... a little bit better. Another one of the dittos. And there's a roughed up is that real? That looks... This Gyarados is definitely fake looking. It's too... Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can tell by the color. Yeah, the color is way off there. So, you can kind of tell on the phone, but the edges look too yellow. Yeah. Like, it's, it's more saturated. of an orangey yellow versus a soft yellow. Mm-hmm. And then the back is usually... Yeah, the back is a dead giveaway, like you can yeah. tell. Like, that just does not look right compared to that. They didn't fake too many uh, older cards, like base set cards, but modern cards, fakes are everywhere. So mm -hmm. make sure you're, you're aware of that. Okay. The back is usually the giveaway for those, right? The centering yeah. on the back is just... Centering can be bad, and it's just the color, the feel. Like if you feel mm -hmm. them, they, it's just not the same material. It's not right. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. Sweet oh. mercy. These look pretty nice too. It all is about the Charizard, the Venusaur, the Blastoise, but the Charizard that the is most hollow. He's got it sleeved. It is sleeved in there, but it's like all crinkled and stuff. Are there two? I don't think so. What's on the back? There's two in there. I don't think there is. Or is that just the, oh. There's just a really weird crease in this. So oh, not bad, not a bad condition Charizard actually. Pretty nice. Should I spoil it Skylar? No. <laughs> <laughs> I say no, we're okay. teasing people. Okay. <laughs> wow, the Venusaur and Blastoise honestly look a little bit better. So condition is the difference between quite a lot of value and honestly the coolness for having them in your collection to have, uh, I just sold a PSA 8 base set Charizard to, uh, I believe it was a viewer, and he's looking for a Blastoise as well, so I just told him I'm getting in another collection, and That's cool. we might have to send him pictures of that. And these ones are all looks... hollow, which is mm -hmm. nice. That would actually be the only possibility for base set. But... Oh. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> don't want Scotty to get called out in the comments. I'll do it. I don't there we go. Anything. There's some first edition. So first edition Hollow Scyther, Aerodactyl. There's a bunch of first editions on this. Is it all? Yeah. The only ones that's not technically are the Machamps, but everything else is first edition. So that's super awesome. That's really cool. Yep. Oh boy. Dark Charizard. That is the Hollow. Love that card. Had it as a kid as well. Dark Raichu. Raichu, Hollow, Dark Gyarados. Gyarados, Weezing, yeah. Vileplume. Pretty much all the big ones there. And these look to be in decent shape. I'll, I'll remove all the best cards at the end and we'll just kind of shuffle through and show. Boom, there's another one. Another Charizard. That one's uh, base set two. Um, this one is base set one. So for those that don't know what that means, on the bottom right, four out of 102. Base set two is four out of 130. Um, they added more cards to base set two, more Pokemon. So the numbers in the set got higher. Uh, but Dark Bastoise is awesome. So this is what that one should look like. Yeah, that, that other one. Gyarados, yeah. Dark Raichu again. Definitely a cool page of cards here. And let's go to the next one. <laughs> There's a third one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and that is base set one. And then another Blastoise, another Venusaur. That's just crazy. All... What a collection he had. Unbelievable. That's just unreal. Like, I... I... I think I pulled a base set two Charizard in one of the last packs I ever opened as a kid. That was the only one I ever had. He just got three. Uh, among so many other awesome things, like this Japanese Halo RK9. Just uh, incredible. Let's keep going. We got the Ancient Mew, first edition Venomoth, Scyther. Oh my gosh, the second first edition Halo Aerodactyl. That's cool. And that is from the Fossil set, which is really vintage, what early Pokemon. So many Gyarados. So lots of base set hollows, lots of jungle and fossil. Man, a really nice sleeve of cards here. This is a shadowless Hitmonchan. So you can see to the right of the hollow, that's where a shadow would go. When they made them further, you can see shadow, shadow. But there was... After the first edition base set Pokemon cards, which were also Shadowless, they made Shadowless without the first edition stamp. And then they were like, those don't look as good. So we're gonna add a shadow. So those are what are considered unlimited. So you have first edition Shadowless, Shadowless, and unlimited, and the value correlates. So still cool to find Shadowless. It'd be even cooler to find first edition Shadowless. All right, well, we're gonna flip through some more of these pages because there's obviously a lot and this clip is very long. So we'll highlight some cool stuff, but it's all super cool. Yes, definitely stay tuned. If you're into Pokemon cards, I'm gonna be dropping um, little little tips and tidbits for what to look for as we go through. Uh, so stay tuned as we go through the rest. Hi, me in the seat now. Um, <laughs> but if you guys like this kind of stuff where we go through all these Pokemon cards in detail, um, let us know in the comments, um, leave a like if, if you really, really like this, we appreciate all of our subscribers. Um, and if you want to know kind of the selling side of how we go through cards or just want to be part of a larger community that deals with a lot of cards, you can check the link down below, um, to join our Patreon, which gives you access to the discord, super cool community over there. They know a ton about not just these kind of cards, but even like the basketball cards that we got over there. Um, and I also have these cards. If you play the Pokemon online or whatever. There's a code. First to claim it gets it. <laughs> There's a code. I'm there covering up the QR code because I know some of y'all are here. smart. It's a uh, Sword and Shield Battle Styles and Sword and Shield Chilling Rain. So Very nice. whoever gets those, good luck if you made it this far in the video. <laughs> <laughs> so we got some more hollows. That's a uh, pre-release. Yeah, there was another pre-release. Uh, those Aerodactyls were pre-release, which was interesting. Really? Yeah. Is that? I didn't notice. Is that, that. something? Good? I, I don't know if that pre-release. Oh shoot! I didn't realize that at all. And, and that's first that's edition. First, maybe all the first editions are pre-release. I'm not sure. Um, and this wow. one pre-release yeah, as well. Yeah, good call. <laughs> I did not notice that. Yeah, I was like, huh. I want. He's not yeah. mentioning it, so I don't know if it's <laughs> if it's <laughs> simply didn't anything. notice. Wow, just constant amazing pages of Pokemon cards. Yeah. Sweet mercy, another Venus. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Is this a? Right too. I think it's just yeah, just regular. regular. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, there's Remember. a Shadowless. Did you, yeah. I should have let you point that no, out, I, but... Are, the, these, are any of these shiny? <laughs> I don't get what the hollow, like, with the stars is. I don't think it'd be shiny. Well... Because that one looks no, different I, the, the thing to look for, like, sometimes you can have, like, a yeah. swirl okay. in, in earlier hollows, but there's no, like... So I know the new stuff, the shinies and, are. And shiny. it's, it's hollow. Um, the other thing, like, me and Quinn, as kids, that the HP... The, it's like it's a thinner it's thinner red. and then yeah there's that one there's that one and we had those cards separated as kids but we didn't even know it's because they were shadowless we were like oh. these ones are weird oh gosh <laughs> like just something off about them yep um more cool hollows articuno got the dark alakazam what's the best card on the page skylar best card on the page it's nine tails maybe okay. or the vaporeon why? Oh, it's first edition. I'm not <laughs> yeah. even looking at that. I'm looking at these. Yeah. First edition. <clears throat> yep. So that's where the stamp is left below the hollow. And that is an amazing card. Erica's Whoa. Venusaur. Oh, this is a man. whole page. Of... Holy cow. What a cool page. So we got page. Blaine's <laughs> Arcanine, Blaine's Moltres, Blaine's Nine Tails, Erica's Clefable, Erica's Venusaur, Giovanni's Machamp. I have Giovanni's Machamp. I love that card. Giovanni's Persian. This is a cool art on this one. Yeah. Giovanni's Night of King, Lieutenant Surge's Electabuzz. Every single one of these is hollow. Like, this whole binder is just hollow. <laughs> that is just crazy. So these are from either Gym Heroes or Gym Leader, which is a vintage set. Uh, we got More Lieutenant Surge's, yeah. Oh Pogus, you see him all. That, that Pogus is Ditto. probably the best card in the batch. That is, Mewtwo. that's cool. Rocket Zapdos that's, as well. That is. Man, this is nostalgia overload right now. <laughs> All right. Hey, hit a, hit a like for the nostalgia <laughs> overload. For sure. And for Skylar. Yes. We'll see uh, how many more first editions I can miss. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we might be done with Hallows at this point. So let's let's flip, flip through quickly. All right. Yeah. Since Chubby Pikachu. These are all commons and non hollows But obviously, if we see first editions and stuff, that's where it could get interesting. Um, they're all. Oop, there's a Shadowless. Uh, Red Cheeks Pikachu, which is a pretty big card. That's cool. That is awesome. That's in good shape. It looks pretty good, yeah. So we'll definitely be it's separating that It's got some fraying on the... Should we take it out now? Sure. So we don't... Sleeve that guy up. And just a reminder, stay tuned until the end, because we will separate all of the best stuff Shaking. and showcase it in the end. Now, I guess we can tease it now. Mm -hmm. There's supposed to be another Charizard, right? I think there was. It was either three or four. Three or four. Okay. So I think it's going to be three at this point. Okay. So this is a binder that if you saw it at a garage sale, you should buy. You should buy. That's <laughs> <laughs> all vintage. Um, decent condition. Now, what does a normal like just your average vintage card go for? Non hollow, not first edition. Like what? What realistically is the it's market for that? Shadowless, but. Um, probably 25 cents to a dollar. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. you know, if you're, if you're selling vintage, the best way to sell them, in my opinion, if they're commons, is to sell them by the set. So look at the bottom right corner. This one's out of 64, which means it's from the jungle set, which that's the marking for it. So just combine all your jungle set cards and make a big lot and mm -hmm. they'll probably sell better that way. And how does that affect the price at all? Cause you're doing the favor of not making people hunt for them would it be more than 25 cents a card it might be a little card? more yeah and, and obviously if you're selling a card for 25 cents it's not really worth it so mm -hmm. making lots at that point is the way to go in my opinion oh wow there's a non hollow dark blastoise that's still cool mm -hmm. so not a lot of first editions a ton these. of just cool cards like all these yeah. dark cards like pretty much anything vintage is cool what the heck is that Good old Porygon. Present Porygon? Yeah. The, the <laughs> art on that one definitely is one that I remember from my childhood. They're, they're fairly organized by set. These have been Team mm -hmm. Rocket. So the, the work is done for us and on these as far as lighting them up. Yeah, just tons of dark cards. Dark Flareon, Jolteon, Vaporeon. There's a really good lot right there, the dark um the e evolution the lot. trifecta yep and they have the ev there too there's another i mean <laughs> and there were more vaporeons previously yep that's yeah, so tons of you can tell like 
Jeff opened a lot of packs. Um, because you know they're guaranteed for a rare at least, but only I think it was like one in three packs actually had a hollow. There's the yellow cheeks. Yep, Pikachu. so there's yellow cheeks compared to chunky. Red, chunky red cheeks. cheeks. Red cheeks mm -hmm. is better. Who knows the demo? Just I'm just waiting for you to flip open the like first edition Shadowless <laughs> I know. Charmander or Pikachu. That's that would be the card that puts it over the edge. That's cool. That What's up with the yellow oh, print? I don't know. That's interesting. Comment your favorite Pokemon below. Yes. Now. Do it. <laughs> Do it now. Or if you're interested in any of these cards. Message on yes. Facebook or Instagram. Pretty much everything is going to be for sale at some point. And you're going to get a better deal if you message on Facebook or Instagram. Don't message mm. through eBay. <laughs> Make it a clear and concise message, too. <laughs> yeah, what do you want? Send me a link if it's already listed. Ooh. We'll work something out. Ooh, I love the E-Series. Mm -hmm. Does that mean we'll be getting more? I hope so. Maybe not. So these are like almost too vintage to have E-Series mixed in. I know. 2002-ish era. Just a blank page. Oh, here's some more gym, gym leader cards. Here we have the rare invisible cards. <laughs> I'm guessing we're going to have a bunch of gym heroes and gym leaders. Mm -hmm. Yep. Very well organized. Shout out to Jeff. Are these in order? They're kind of in order, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like near complete sets in some of these. Wow, well, it's just an unbelievable amount of cards. These are all like in nice shape too. Yeah. Like some of the hollows had a bit more wear, and that's kind of more common because kids played with them. Like, mm -hmm. and there's not even really many scratches like on the yeah. not on the card, but like. On these, on the sleeves, yeah, you know, like these have been sitting for a while. This one was yeah, sleeved. Some, some more modern stuff here. Yeah, 2015. Oh, that one sleeved. Should just be a cool card to them. Yeah. Oh, that's why. Oh, okay, nice. Glalie Japanese EX. Got a couple modern hollows in the back. Cool Garatina. But... This was a heavily front-loaded binder. Yes. <laughs> Heck is that alien? But then you just got random ones mixed in. Mm -hmm. There's still vintage mixed in back here. So Skylar just finished going through the uh, last part of the binder after the hollows got passed. And you can show the one main highlight, but otherwise we won't show us going through that because it just... Oh no, that was, that's not what I'm talking about. But oh, the... From the comments, the Pikachu. Oh, yes. That's why you go through every single card. Yes. So we'll show that main highlight. It is the Red Cheeks Shadowless uh, Pikachu. Red Cheeks. So that was the coolest card, and then there was a bunch of vintage, um, nice condition stuff, but like no first editions or anything like that. So the binder was heavily front loaded. We're gonna separate all the best stuff, maybe go over a little bit of the values on some of them, and look at it a bit closer. All right, guys, that was so much fun. We have the best 31 cards pulled to the side. We're gonna highlight through. So they're all sleeved up. <laughs> so get ready. We have one two, three base Charizards, two of which are base set one, one is base set two. There's three Venusaurs, those are all base set one. Two Blastoise, both base set one. There's the Red Cheeks Shadowless Pikachu, surprisingly about a $50 card, maybe more in this condition. First edition Scyther Hollow, Vaporeon first edition, Raichu Shadowless, Dark Charizard Hollow, two Erica's Venusaurs. So uh, some of the, the gym leaders and gym heroes sets had two cards in the sleeve. So most of them didn't, but this was an example of one of those. Then you got Rocket's Mewtwo, Blaine's Moltres, Arcanine, Hitmonchan, Shadowless, Dark Blastoise, unfortunately very scratched up hollow, but still a super cool card. Two of the pre-release Aerodactyl first editions Two Lieutenant Surgis Raichus, Sabrina's Alakazam, Rocket Zapdos, Brock's Ninetales, two of those, that was another one that had two in the sleeve. Giovanni's Nato King, and then same for Giovanni's Machamp, two of those. Um, and all of these are the cards that are like comfortably $30 or more. And then obviously there's a good bit of them that are well above that chunk. So amazing 31 cards there. And... We still got the whole other binder. There's a lot of just awesome base set jungle 
everything. I mean, it had everything. That was like an amazing childhood collection of Pokemon cards, not to mention the Pokemon XD and the Yu-Gi-Oh! Flossbound Kingdom, all part of the original trade. And then we still have to figure out all the extras that we got and what we're going to send uh, as far as trade goes for that. So, Jeff, thank you so much for this deal. Um, and to everybody else watching, if you liked it, please hit that like button. Um, these videos take work and time. We love doing them, but it really helps if you hit the like button. Do it for Skylar. He's watching me say this right now, editing and putting out the video. <laughs> <laughs> so hit that like button for Skylar. YouTube pays his wages. So Please. do it. <laughs> if you like and subscribe, it it keeps me He'll employed. make more money. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we have a server deal worked out, but we're just, <laughs> YouTube helps, and we really appreciate it. So Thank you guys for watching. This video was a lot of fun to make. If you haven't seen the last one, it was crazy. So check that out right here. Bought so many amazing completed box NES, SNES, N64 games, and it was nuts. So check that one out, and then if you're in the future, make sure to check out this video because we're doing videos every single day this month, so we've got a lot of content to check out. So check them out here, and until next time, Bartle Doo.